so people near Crooked Creek and Pflugerville also have a lot of cleaning up to do this morning. An estimated 20 homes in that neighborhood may have flood damage today. KV's Tina Shively was there all morning long. She talked with the neighbors and is now in the newsroom with the story. Tina? Well, the water has receded on Crooked Creek since the sun came up, Brian and Yvonne, shining light on a situation that the city's fire chief described as fast and furious. Donald Thomason has lived at the corner of Crystal Bend and Crooked Creek Drive for more than 40 years and has never seen the creek rise as high as it did Wednesday night. It's probably about another six or eight inches higher than what it had been before. So would you say it's the worst that you ever seen it? Yes, yes it is, yeah. Dozens of people forced to evacuate from their homes and the rescue workers responsible for those missions hid from the storm under Thomason's carport into the early morning. Many could not believe how high the water had risen right up to their backyards. Well, to tell you the truth, I was still in bed and I, I kept hearing water and I didn't, couldn't figure out what was going on. And then our next door neighbor came and knocked on the door. And, and when I got up and looked outside, I mean, the, the water was up to our steps. Rescue boats carried about 30 people to safety and then to a shelter until they can get back to their neighborhood, now torn apart by water. The force of the water in Crooked Creek was so intense it destroyed the yard next door. It knocked over the stone pillar, took out this entire fence, and lifted pieces of asphalt from the driveway. Fire crews are still checking on emergencies. This call came in for a propane leak. At Dora Reyes's home, the water woke her from a deep sleep. I called my husband, look how much rain we have. So he got up, we looked. At first he didn't believe me because it never happened like that much. She thinks the fast-moving water carried something heavy downstream and right into her house. It's left her without running water hours later. Now the work is not done for neighbors or for emergency crews. Teams with Austin Energy are driving around the neighborhood to be sure the force of the water didn't damage any of their equipment. In the newsroom, Tina Shively, KV News Midday.